Troy sponsors the Jetpack because he hopes it'll inspire innovation. His company also sponsors amateur rocket groups for the same reason. Today, he and Nick are heading out to Black Rock Desert in Nevada to watch a rocket launch. Amateur rocketry really took off during the space race of the 1950s and 60s. But as NASA's early attempts show, launching a rocket into space isn't easy. Since then, teams of amateurs have made numerous attempts to reach space, but these guys got there first. In 2004, we launched the first go-fast rocket that, that uh, set a world record by being the first amateur rocket to reach space. It reached an altitude of 72 miles. Today, Jerry and his team will try to beat their own record. The rocket weighs 750 pounds. 412 pounds of which is solid rocket fuel. In just 12 seconds, it'll all be gone. It'll actually accelerate very quickly, 16 times uh, gravitational force, or 16 Gs, which a human could not survive. That speed of acceleration is key to getting the rocket into space. The GoFast rocket is real similar to what was used on the space shuttle. It's made out of solid fuel, and it has its own oxidizer and fuel built into it. And the jetpack that Go Fast flies uses a, a liquid fuel, but has the same principle. Solid fuel rockets are much simpler than liquid fuel rockets. They consist of a steel casing filled with a solid fuel and an oxidizer that once ignited burns until it's out. So this back section all the way back is the solid rocket fuel and it's poured inside of this tube in kind of a liquid form and then it cures and becomes hard and there's a core down the middle of it and they pull that core out and that's what it burns and that's what will generate all of the thrust. It's a feat to be able to build a rocket like this with civilians. They're pushing the envelope on what rockets can do and uh, they already have the world record and they want to beat it just because, you know, they have the passion. Passion for innovation unites Nick and Jerry. That and a love of flight. But Jerry doesn't routinely strap himself to his rocket. Prior to liftoff, Nick gives the new catalyst pack a spin. Nick's flight around the rocket takes 25 seconds, close to the max. And then the team preps for the main event. Three, two, one, mark. T minus 30 seconds. The vehicle is armed. The final countdown begins. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, Seven 6, six five, 5, 4, 3, three two, 1. Fire. matter of seconds, the booster separates, and the rocket is out of sight. And that thing was gone. They did it. The rocket beat their 2004 record. It went 73.1 miles above sea level and hit a new world speed record for amateur rockets at 3,780 miles per hour.